Vamos lá. All right, good evening, one and all, and welcome to day number three, week four of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you in the classroom today. Oh my God, we are about to, we are about to begin class, and I want Mr. Rochelle, no, who volunteered, I want him to explain question number one. A and B. So explain how we got our answers. Rochelle, no. Um, okay, so to get A, um, the one equal part, um, um, okay. For the one equal part, you um divide, um, you add the um, ratio for the boys to girls, which is five plus three, which is eight. Can you see that? No, no way. No, sir. All right. How about now? I can see now. Okay, good. Sorry about that. So you add um, the ratio of boys to girls, which is five plus three was, will be eight, and the 1,200 students. So 1,200 students will be divided by eight, which is 150. Since boys of three equal parts, you times 150 by three, which will be 450 male students. Mm -hmm. To get the girls, they have five equal parts. It'll be five times 150, which would equal 750 female students. Mm -hmm. Now for B, um, to get the total number of boys, you will add the, the original answer, which is 450 by how much more boys into the school, which would be 459. And to get one equal part, you divide the divide. Oh, yeah, it's by total one part. Equal. Yeah, one equal part divide the total boys by the number of equal parts for the boys, which is three. And that will give you 159 over three, which equals mm -hmm. 153. Yeah. To get the total number of girls, yes. you um, times five, since that's how much the equal parts is, by the 100, by 153, which will be equal to 155 girls. Diamond, make sure that your um, mic is muted, please. Because we get everything else in your background. Sorry about that, Rashama. Go ahead. And to get the number of new girls that came also in into the school, you um take away some you take away the original number, which was 750 by the new number, by the new number of girls, which is 765, which means you get 15 new girls. All right, very good. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. <clears throat> Do I have anyone to volunteer for example number two? Who want to explain example number two? This one is basically a similar example, but with different numbers. And here we're, we're looking at Exoma High School. Anyone who would like to explain that for me? Don't be shy. Elsa, Elsa, call names. Don't be shy. I guess they do want me to call names today. Um, Shaya, can you explain that, please? Um, okay. These the stuff from last night, right? Yes, stuff from last night. Okay. So it says there are 20, um, no, sorry. There are 2,800 students at the Exuma High School and the ratio of boys to girls is, oh, oh that's my alarm, is um, three to four. So since it's three to four, we like, okay. The first question is asking you how many boys and girls are in the school. So to figure out how many boys and girls there are, you have to figure out what is one equal part of 2,800, which is 2,800 divided by three plus four, which is seven, which would give you 400 students. And you could help me? 
we can see what's there, but we can also see what. I get at you. I get at you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, and to find how many boys <clears throat> there are, since the ratio is three to four, the boys get three equal parts, which is three times 400, which is 1,200 male students. And to get the girls, you do the same thing, but you multiply four by 400 by four because the girls' ratio is four and you get 1,600 female students. And then for B, it says 15 more boys entered the school. If the ratio remains the same, how many girls entered? So for that, you have to do the total number of boys, which is 1,200 plus 15 divided by three, which will give you 405. And then to get the total number of girls, you do 405 times four, which is 1,620 girls. And then to get the number of new girls, you do 1,620 minus 1,600, and you get 20 new girls. All right, and you get 20 new girls. So <clears throat> question, why do we multiply this, this um, 400 by three, not four? I'll um, show you. Wait, which 400? So like 400. 400 to find how many boys? Yes. You multiply it by three because the ratio of boys to girls is three to four. So the boys have three equal parts. Very good. And then we multiply it by four because the, boys, the girls have? Four equal parts. Very good. And so we know that 15 are added. So we had the figure of who was one equal part. And once we figure what that one equal part was, then we were able to find the total number of girls, um, new girls, I saw, and then subsequently, by subtracting, we were able to find the total number of new girls. So this is what we did yesterday. <clears throat> we are still in the ratio world. We're going to consider another type of question. Um, this time, dealing with um, beans, different types of beans. All right, so let's begin with that. So let's head up properly. So Hola. Yes. Oh, never mind. It just come back. Your screen was blocked for the longest time just now. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's begin. So today is Wednesday, twenty <clears throat> second of February, twenty twenty three. The subject is mathematics. And the theme is still ratios. Ratio word problems. Please make sure that as you enter, your mic is muted. That's we don't want to add a background noise from your home. All right, so let's begin with this question. This is a B. Hola. Right. So can I say something? What happened? You know when you you know when you say um when you join the when you join the class, make sure your mic is good. Yes. How are we supposed to do that? Because when I join the class, my mic is like is so we put on my mic. That's why what I mean is quickly, quickly muted. Don't allow it to. Oh, okay. But yeah. some people don't know that it's gonna be on mute. But now they know, right? I've been saying that for the longest. Yeah, that's all. But Mr. Petit, you know when you like um making the meetings and like the time and all that, you could there's mm -hmm. a set. You, yeah, but some people, 
you're right but some people they are they have a malfunction in their um, device and so um they would need to manually do it you know, even if i said it would. but that's oh, a good no. option when i when i do another one because it's the old name when i do another one i have to make that setting change thank you all right so <clears throat> talking about two um so we're talking about a major organization, Coffee Break. Obviously, they sell coffee, you know, that goes in the name. This Coffee Break prepares. A blend of coffee containing Arabica beans and Brazil beans. In the ratio, <clears throat> Four out of three. Question A. Calculate the weight of the Arabica beans So we want to calculate the weight of the Arabica beans in a blend of four hundred and fifty five grams okay and so we're going to calculate the weight of our book of beans in a blend of 455 grams and then after we do that we're going to do another question but let's let's deal with this one first <clears throat> all right so we already know that we have a we have a blend of coffee right so this coffee contains two types of beans, Arabica beans and Brazil beans. Now the ratio of Arabica beans is four. I'm uh, sorry, the ratio of Arabica, Arabica beans to Brazil beans is four to five. So my question is, how many, how many equal parts is Arabica beans gonna have? You have the add four and three together, then divided by four to five. Very good. But I'm saying, how much equal parts is, is um Arabica? Four. Four oh. equal parts. Arabica beans is four equal parts. And how much um equal parts is Brazil? Three. Three, very good. So the first order of business that we need to do is figure out what is one equal part. Let me, let me do that by what? Taking 455 and dividing it. Five. The sum. Four plus three. Yeah, the sum of four and three. That's going to be. <clears throat> four fifty five divided by seven. It's going to be, yes, 450 grams, 155 grams divided by, sorry, mongooses. <laughs> Anyone know that what, are, what they are? Mongooses. Oh, nobody. Really cool creatures. I heard of them. Yeah. They some like lizard, Mr. Petit? Ah, uh, no. They are, they, are, they, are, they look similar to rats. There's a smaller version. Wait, wait, what creatures are we talking about? Mongooses, mongooses. Mongooses? Yeah, mongooses. Oh, I know a mongoose. It's like a cat with a rat. Hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are they have a lot of them in Hawaii. They eat they eat um they eat rats. Snakes. And snakes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let me divide 455 by seven. 65. 65 grams. All right. So one equal part is gonna be six hundred sixty-five um grams. 
Now we need to find out what is, what's her name? So like what is the amount of Arabica beans in, in this plant? Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna put it on the side, so. 260. All right, so remember our, the amount of Arabica, the amount of Arabica beans. <clears throat> The amount of our book of beans is gonna be four equal parts. Let me put it on this side. So now we want amount of our book of beans. Now the amount of our, our book of beans is gonna be four equal parts. Gonna be equal to four times four multiplied by four multiplied by what? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Gonna give you two two sixty. I multiply four by sixty-five. We get what? Two sixty. 260 grams. Very good, 260 grams. Okay, what's the amount of Arabica beans in the blend? Now, what is the way that we could figure out how much um, Brazil beans? We could subtract it if you want to, or we could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Three times 65. Very good. So tell me how much, how much Brazil beans in it, in the blend? How many? How much, Father? No, I mean, how much grams of Brazil beans in the blend? Hello? Um, which is part of me? I mean, how much Brazil beans in the blend? 195. 195. And you can get that by simply subtracting the thing. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, um, let us, oh my goodness, let us um look at the next part of the question, which I believe is going to be, because this was yesterday. We pretty much, you know, conquered this yesterday. Um, the part like listen. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lenaya. You saying something? Um, how did you say we could find the um Brazil? The black, yeah. Okay, so for the Brazil. Okay, let me let me um. Uh... By the way, this is the question from your past paper. So, um, for the for the Abraca, we know is what? We did four times, was it four? Four times 65. And that gave us 260, right? So for the Brazil, we know the Brazil is three. So we could do three times what? 65, and that gave us 195. Okay, Lenaya? Yeah, or you could subtract it. So you could say 455. Oopsies. 455 minus. 260 and still get 195. Okay. Get that. All right. So next we have B. It says coffee break. This coffee break has place to 
to Coffee Break has placed an order of 150 kilograms of Brazil beans. Calculate the weight of <clears throat> our book of beans. to be ordered to make their blend. So we know that coffee break place an order of 150 kilograms of Brazil beans. We still keep in the ratio of four to three. But here we, are, we want to calculate the weight of our book of beans to make their blend. Remember, the the ratio stays the same, but do you think that the equal part is going to stay the same? No, sir. No, because like just like the last time, we're gonna have to change our equal part. And the reason why we change our equal part is because remember the first time we had one hundred ninety five Brazil beans. This time we only have one hundred fifty. So the equal parts, <clears throat> our one equal part is gonna change. It's not gonna be sixty five anymore. We need to figure out how we can get one equal part. Any suggestions on how we're going to get one equal part? We divide. I add. No, we add. divide. Divide. Someone say divide. How are we going to divide? What, what, and what are we going to divide? We're going to divide the total number. We're going to divide the amount of Brazil beans that was ordered mm -hmm. out of. How, out of how many out, out of the total of our company of of out of the out of the being of two twenty grams. Close, <clears throat> not but not quite. You write about dividing, but you your numbers you choose is wrong. So we need to find one equal part. How are we gonna do that? <clears throat> All right, how much equal parts is 150 grams? Because it's Brazil beans, right? So how much equal parts is going to be? ninety-five. No, how much equal parts is Brazil beans based on our ratio? Three. Three, oh, very good. Three. So pay attention with me. We know that three equal parts equal to 150 kilograms. So if three equal parts equals 150 kilograms, then what is one equal part? 150 divided by three. Yeah. Very good. So one equal part is going to be, let's do the division. The same thing with the same way we do it last night. What we last night we did it with um the students. All right. <clears throat> so it's going to be. Um, amounts of um, it's 50. divided by number of the number of equal parts. Or Brazil beans. All right. How much is the amount of Brazil beans in the blend? What's the amount? Help me out. What's the amount of Brazil beans in the blend? Um, two sixty um two hundred sixty grams. No Brazil beans. I mean, Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil. How many Brazil beans in the blend? 150 um, kilograms. 150 kilograms, very good. 
Uh, how much now? What's the number of equal parts in the blend? Um, Marcel is three. Three, very good. So it's going to be 150 divided by three. What is 150 divided by three? <clears throat> 50. 50? Yes, 50. Okay. So now we know it was one equal part. We need to figure out how much Africa beans is going to be. So that would answer some of you. 50. times 4. 50 times 4. We know Africa beans is four equal parts. It's going to be four times what? 50. Four times. Yeah. And what is four times 50? 200. Say it again. Four times 50 is what? Say it again. 400? 200. 200. 200? Yeah. 200. Yes, 200. Let's see. I, I mistake. I, I mistake 200, right? Mm -hmm. you, say, you, say, you say what you say, 200. I thought you, I thought it was wrong. No, 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 no. I was trying to hear what you're saying. <laughs> All right, Anaya, can you explain how we got on to this? Four, A, one, A. You call me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so which one, A? Yeah, one A. One A. My mother's obviously trying to join the class tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be uh, uh participating. I'm wrong with that. Um, <laughs> so a um it says calculate the weight of our uh, <laughs> that word beans in <laughs> Arabica. Yes. Beans in a blend of four hundred and fifty five grams. So first we have to find out what one equal part is to yeah. find out. Um, yeah, so first we have to do one equal part. So we divide um, 455 grams by uh, the sum of four plus three, which yeah. is seven. So we divide uh, 455 grams by seven, which gives yeah. us 65. Mm -hmm. Then because that's... um one equal part, we have to multiply four by 65 grams mm -hmm. because the, this, oh, the, for the Arabica beans, it's four equal parts. So we multiply four um, by 65 grams, which gives us, which gives us 260 grams. Excellent. Very Did good. Or? No, I want to let, Alexandra, explain B for me, please. Okay, so B, you have the, that means, oh, sorry, coffee bring us place an order of 150 kilograms of Brazil beans. Calculate the weight of Arabica beans to be ordered to make their blend. So first we have to find what is, it won't be 65 anymore. So we have to find one equal part. So mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to divide the amount of Brazil beans by the number of equal parts, mm -hmm. which we have 150 kilograms divided by three, which gives us 50 kilograms. Now we have to find the amount of Arabica beans. So now we have to times it by 50, the equal parts by 50, which gives us 200 kilograms. Very good. Excellent. Any, any other questions on this? Any questions? <clears throat> it gets harder as we go. <laughs> so it gets harder as we go. 
But the good news is that we're taking it one step at a time. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. Okay. So how do you eat an elephant? What's the best way to eat an elephant? What? How do you eat an elephant? Small bits. Say it again. Yeah. I heard it said. My mother said small bits. Like I said, she is participating tonight. I don't know what happened. Very good. One bite at a time. Okay, so that's how we beat an elephant. So it is a big topic, but we're gonna take it bit by bit, piece by piece. All right, so let's do another example, a similar example. Then I'm gonna ask you to send in your notes for me. So right now, when we get the example too. No, no, not right now. When we should example too. Okay. All right. So let's, let's move on to another example. I'm gonna change the color so you can know that it's a different. Uh, no, don't, no. Yeah, I, I think, love it. I like oh. it too. I like it too, but I have to change the color. I don't wanna give myself. Okay, green, yellow, what's the green, yellow? How about the people who like green, yellow? They can be all right. It reminds me of something I don't I like it. understand. <laughs> it was purple. Purple. I think we should do purple for it. What about black? Black. Interesting. All right. So example number two. Give me one moment to correct some things. I need to move this for sure. And I definitely need to move this. So we don't need that. And instead of coffee break, anyone know about coffee break? I think that's a real place. I think that's a real company. Somebody actually named the company Coffee Break. Coffee Break, yeah. I mean, it, it, it makes sense, Coffee Break. Um, you might probably more familiar with Starbucks, so let's use that. Thank you. Thank you for the original name. Thank you so much. I don't know what Coffee Break is. <laughs> Y'all ain't easy at all. Oh, well. All right, so let's say we have, sorry, looks like, let me um, um, again, we have to change B as well. Are the Arabic beans and Brazilian beans gonna stay the same? Because I write down them. Um, yeah, we're gonna change them too. Uh, I guess I need spaces. But... Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's say it's in the ratio this time of say three to five. And let's say we have the plan of 565. Right? Yeah. 
Or Ray because now when Anazi, 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 you know what he's saying? Anazi. Well, we had the first time as well, three weeks. It's fine. I have to go by my granny to take some medication. So I'll say I'll join back after I come back. Okay, sure. That's fine. Oh, this is all right. Okay, so let's do the first example. It, it says, Yolanda, can you read example number one? I mean, example number two, please. Um, A, starting from Starbucks. Example number two, A. Starbucks prepares a blend of coffee containing an anasazi. Anasazi beans and mung beans in the ratio three fifth. Three to five. Calculate. Three, pardon me? Three to five. Three to five. A, calculate the weight of, I don't think that's supposed to be there. No. Anna. Calculate the weight of Anansi beans in a blend of 560 grams. Hmm. Good. So, how are we going to be doing this take one year? For A. First, you have to find what is one equal part. How are we going to do that? Well, first, we're going to find the sum of the ratio and then mm -hmm. divide that by, by 560. Very good. So, 560 grams divided by what is the sum? The sum is 8. Very good. So we have three plus five, that will be eight. So 560 grams divided by, oops, sorry. Divided by eight. <clears throat> Going to be 560 divided by 8, which is 70. 70. 70 grams. Okay, now that we have 70, um, Zayden, Watson, how are we going to get um, the number of equal parts? How are we going to get the amount or the weight of Anasazi beans in the blend? Um, we, we, we multiply. I can really hear you. Like a belly. We multiply. We multiply. We multiply what? Seventy and three. Seventy and three. Three, very good. Seventy and three. The reason why we use three is because it's three um equal parts for the Anazazi beans. So let's do that. So the amount of Anasazi beans it's gonna be three equal parts. So we have three times 70 grams. What is three times 70? That's gonna be what? 210. 210. And so that's how we do it. Any questions on this? <clears throat> questions? All right. Daniel, where's Daniel? I'm ringing. Just up. Okay. Um, how are we gonna read? Read, read, not read B, and tell me how we gonna do. 
Starbucks has placed an order of 270 kilograms of mung beans. Calculate the weight of mung beans to be ordered to make that blend. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? Um, first of all, we need to find the, the mung beans ratio. Um, the ratio is three. We got to Oh, yeah. Um, so the ratio, first of all, is um, it would be let me see, it'd be five. The ratio for the monk's beans is five. You mean the number of equal parts? So, so please use the right terminology, please. So, what we gotta do is we gotta first find what one equal part, right? Yes, sir, and one equal part. One equal part is going to be the amount of mug beans, right? Yes, sir. Divided by what? Divided by the number of equal parts for the mug beans. Very good. What is the amount of mug beans that we have? 270 kilograms. Very good. We have 270 kilograms of the mug beans. Um, what is the number of equal parts that we have for the mug beans? Um, the amount of equal parts for the mug beans is five. It's five, very good. And when we divide 270 by five, we get one. Um, when you divide 270 by five, um, you get, get 54. 54, very good, 54 kilograms. That's the number of one equal part. Can someone tell me how we're gonna get um, the, the actual amount of mug, mug beans? Five times 54. Very good. Kilograms. Amount of mug beans. We trying to find mug beans or we trying to find Arabic? Oh, we trying to trying to find my body. Supposed to say a Nazi. I think there was something wrong there. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to find the amount of an Anas Anasazi. So the amount of Anasazi beans is gonna be one. We know that to be three equal parts. Three times fifty-four. Very good, Aaron. Three times fifty-four. Aaron, do you need the first one? No, sir. I have it. All right. Let's go. So three equal parts. It's going to be three times what? <clears throat> three times 54. Three times 54. Mm -hmm. When we do three times 54, we get. 162. 162 grams. All right, that's our two examples. We did it before seven. Bracket time, bracket timing. Mr. Patil, you go back to the first example of this. Yes, I can. This is the first example. With coffee break. And the second example here is with um, Starbucks. All right, now you know what to do. Please send in the, the class notes.
one example, number one example, number two so far, I have Shea Turan Penamin. Rest of you, I need to see your class notes. Please, it's 44 of us in there. I need to see 43 notes being sent. Again, please send in the class notes. Please don't let me have to run behind you for the class notes because I will. Trust me, I will if I have to, but I don't want it to go that way. So please be very cooperative and send in your class notes. Mm -hmm. That's example number one, example number two. But, but, Mr. P. Go ahead. Um, I didn't write the class notes, but I sent short when I go home, I can write the class notes. Okay, and send it to me, okay, tonight. Yes, sir. All right, then. Good night, Mr. T. I just read, I already write down example number two, but I have to write down the first one. Okay. Pardon? You saw what Destiny did say, right? Destiny? No, I saw what Destiny said. In the chat. Oh, first slide? Okay, it's on the first slide. <clears throat> Destiny, thank you. Let me, let me put it back on the for, on the second. I mean, not the second one, though. All right. Okay, let's begin with the class notes, not class note exercises. Let me change the color on this because I want to send the video with something different. Change all design, we should have a precise design. All right, insert. So we're gonna be doing the exercises. Can you, can you go back to the previous slide one more time? Okay, sorry, no problem. All right, so this time we have coffee makers and They're making their blend. Coffee makers. Oh, you're so quiet. So the ratio this time is going to be, um, well, let's, let's change the beans. So let's say we have um, soybeans and lima beans. 
yuck. That should be an interesting coffee. <laughs> And Mr. Petit, people will buy that and try to convince you that that tastes so I good. Know, right? I know, right? I know, right? Oh, it's, 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 it's soybeans and lime, oh, wow. That's a... Mm, mm, mm. But they, they were, that was that one they can name it, you know, they can name it some fancy name. And by the time you finish, you'll be like, what did I just drink? Yeah, you just drink. You just drink. You just drink the unknown drink. <laughs> All right, so it is supposed to exist. All right, <clears throat> trust me, them weird, them weird sounding ones. It's cost so much money. Seems to be the one that tastes so bad and cost so much money. Okay, so let's say that though. So we want the weight of the. This one. So the weight of the soybeans. I can be the way of soybeans in a blend of, let's say it's 369 grams. And for B, we have um, 369, right? 369 grams, right? Yeah, 369. Okay, make a little bit of an order of 250 by 200 grams of lime beans. Take a little bit of soybeans. <clears throat> Again, please make sure that you send your class notes. For some persons, I still don't have those, that, those class notes, so make sure you send them in. Don't wait until you finish the exercise. Just send them in, in, in and send them in right now, please. Take away the garbanzo beans. Train the lights. And finally, number last one, number three. <clears throat> you said finally, and you barely almost did anything. You said finally. Yeah, it's number three. Um, I say finally, I mean finally as a transitional word. Not as finally as in, oh, I'm tired, but finally just 
in transition. Oh, Mr. Vatid. Hey. Hello. You can need the first. You can need the first two slides, right? Yes, sir. How you doing? You you um you can live long in life. Why go long? I my mind just ran away. See, boy, I didn't see my yesterday. I, I was here yesterday. yesterday. Were you? Yes. No, I maybe I was saying maybe I was saying that I didn't see you last week and then I see you today. But you you, you should run on my mind and then I see you. Join the music, like, wow. Something, eh? This is the same thing we were doing yesterday. Um, A, but B is different. They have, it, it, it's, um, it's very similar, but, but, um, just, uh, go ahead, Alexandria. You show you word number one correct? Because I mean, I still look confused on number one, on which number comes first. But okay, I mean, sure. uh, just jump back it for me, son. Just double check and take my time because I know. We yeah, I, I suppose put soybeans. Yeah, I put soybeans. Yeah, soybeans supposed to be first. Okay, so I wrong or you have to make adjustment. That's right. Soybeans is first. No, I mean I'm B, B. I already passed. Oh, that. B, 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 B. Oh, B. Okay. Lime <laughs> off. Calculate with the soy. Yeah, that's good. That's right. So I asked for lime and I want you to find soy. That's what I want. Same with this. I asked for, ask for kidneys, but I want you to find a bunch of them. Amaya, you need the second one. This is the second one. Oh, wait. Let me get a picture of the first one. Okay, the first one. This is the first one. Okay, now you can check. The second one. Okay, I got it. All right, now number And the blend of <clears throat> coffee masters. Right beans, carefully the weight of the left beans and to be bottom. All right, so those are the exercises. Please complete them for me. Wow, it's only seven o'clock. You have plenty of time. To... All right. <clears throat> That's Aaron. Do you remember number one? One B. One B. Is any no sense for the night? Yes, sir. Okay, I found them. Alexandra, when number one? Um, I skipped that B part and I just found the number two because that I'm confused. So okay. okay. Zario is Zario. Yes, 
Um, I don't have your notes. I need to. I need to see your notes, please. Say it again. I can barely hear you. Say it again. I came to class late. I am completing the second set of notes. Okay, no problem. Bye. All right. Zayden, where's your notes? I said I already sent you my notes, Mr. Petit. Okay. I right, see you then. What number are you on? Number one. <clears throat> number one. Number one, A or B. A. A. Um, Ashanti, good number you on. Ashanti, roll, are you there? Yes. What number you are you on? Number one. Um, I didn't receive your notes. Take a picture of your notes and send them to me via WhatsApp, please. And also from yesterday, I didn't receive nothing from you. So I need to see your notes from today and your work from yesterday. Do you understand that, Vashante? Yes, sir. All right, so please do that for me. And Taran, what number you on? I write all them down. I start them down. I don't know okay. I write all them down for you. Okay. Um, say, Kwanya, what number you on? I'm going to try out all the questions first. Okay. Wait, are we supposed to write the questions first? No, no, no. You, they doing it the way they want to do it. You could, you could answer them as you go. I prefer to answer as you go anyway. I think you mean it. If you have to write the whole questions down, Mr. Petit. No, I think, um, yes, you have to write the whole questions down. Um, but if you want to write them down and then answer them individually, that's fine. Or if you want to write all them down first and then answer them, it's up to you. Okay. Serenity? Yes, sir. Um, I just received your notes. Very good on writing, by the way. Thank um, you. I want to see example number one, though. The second one, I didn't get it. All of it. Okay. So why didn't you ask me to send the, the move from the next slide? See you. Um, you could go back to this. I could take a screenshot, please. Okay. Don't be shy now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Rikia, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I see your notes. I only see example number one, though. Where's your, where's your notes for, where's the, other, where's the other slide? I have to finish right now, the next one. Okay, and where's your work from last night, the exercises? Um, I had to, le I had to leave early because power turned off, so I wasn't able to get back in class. Okay, but send the notes from, send the notes that from the night, okay? Okay. Um, Rochelle, no, when I'm you at, I am on number two B. Mr. Petit, for number two B. Um mm -hmm. I still get the same number lock from the first one. What do you mean? The same what? The same number lock from the first one, from the first answer, for number from A. You mean for the evil part? Yeah. Okay. So still keep going? Yeah, still keep it. That's cool. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 70? That's nice. All right. Excuse me, Mr. you could check my number one B, please. Sure.
Um, you say number one. This is um. What did I say? This is um. Moisha? Number one B. Number one B. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, thank you. The Chardonnay, when I'm young. Yeah, number two. Number two? Okay. You understand what to do? Yes, so. All right. Otisa, where's Otisa? Otisa Aubrey? Otisa Aubrey, are you there? Otisa, are you there? Pardon me, Mr. Vidi. No, not, not you. I say Otisa. Otisa, are you there? I wonder if she could hear me. I know that internet is before you uh, I don't think she got me. I'm going to Miguel Smith? Yes, sir. Um, are you home yet? No, sir. My mom hasn't picked me up yet. Okay. Um, have you taken a screenshot? I have. Okay. Have you written them down yet? No, sir. Why? I have to go home. I don't have anything. So you don't know home. Nothing? No, except for my laptop. Okay. Hi. Right. How about Megan? Where's Megan? Hello. Okay. What number you on? Two B. Two B. You understand what to do? Yeah. Malaya Smith, are you there? Yes, sir. What number you on? <clears throat> um, I'm on number two B. Do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. That's good. Michaela, Moxie. Yes, sir. Uh, how come I only receive your work? Where's Angelina? I need to see her work as well. Still writing them down. All right, send it, tell her to send it as well, please. Okay. What number are you on? Uh, number two. Eight. two eight. Do you understand what to do? Yes, yeah, sir. That's good. Um, Shalice, what number are you on? 3A. 3A. 3A, 3A, that's good. Um, Shalice, you need to head up. So you have to head up properly, like how I head up. All right? That's all. Anaya, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good, Mr. Petit. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what number you on? That's great. I I am on number one. Number one what? A. One A. You just on number one? Yes, Miss Uti. I have to. I can't rush to the thing I'm anymore. Like the multiplication and division because I get it wrong okay. when I rush. All right. No problem. I can accept that. <clears throat> Karen. Othmat. Yes, sir. What number you on? Three A. Three A. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, when I haven't seen your um notes. Kelly, Kelly doing something with her phone, and I mean for the finish. All right. Mr. Petit, I I send you my work. Can you check it, please? 
Number one was right. It's funny how number two get the same answers. I was not expecting that. <clears throat> That's what I was trying to ask with number two times you could get the same answer. So what? Yeah. Oh, or no, because that's it's what I was asking you, but I still went ahead and filled it. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's, 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 it's okay. just that the number I chose was still actually the um, exact order for them for the for A. So that can happen. Yeah, all them right, the Alexandra. Okay, just making sure. I don't know why I stopped myself, but I just making sure. You know? I mean, maybe you know, it's the first. It's I'm, and this is trying to get dying of it. So I would ask. I would ask the same question too. So that's no problem. Just did I get some number? Kevin Ink. That's Kevin Ink. Kevin, are you there? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, I need to see your notes. Um, I didn't get the first example, so I could take a picture of that list. Okay, sure. Why you wait till just now to tell me that? I was going to wait till I didn't finish the work then. Okay, okay. All right. It's the first slide. What number you on, Kevin? Two A. I get it. Thanks. Okay. And Jennifer Allen, number you on. Two B. Two B. Now, Miss Allen. Yes, sir. I know you don't have a phone, or you don't have access, access to the phone right now, but you have to take pictures of your notes. And so whenever your father reach home or your dear mommy your home or whatever, I need to see pictures of your notes because currently I don't have none for you for the week. And it's mm -hmm. as if you're not even in class. So you need to send pictures of your notes, please. So I got a record. Yes, sir. Now, don't just say yes, sir, and you don't do it now. I need to see them tonight or whenever your daddy is. is are you going to be able to do it tonight when he, when he comes or how I would set up tonight? He'll be able to do it tonight. Okay, good. And I want all from Monday. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Parvening? What number you on? I'm on number two. So A or B? A. Okay. What y'all doing in mass class now, Harvard? Eh? We still on geometry. Y'all still on geometry? Yeah, that's our last topic because we already finished everything. You mean for the syllabus? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So y'all did rate yours then? Yes, sir. That means that you did this already? Yes, sir. All right, that's good. Mr. Patin, we moving on after this? Because don't forget, uh, I have to leave early, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we'll or just move on to us. We go over the answers and we probably got more time to look at a few more other questions. So in this in this category, or it could be something we still, else. We still, we still have issues, so I'm over some issues. Okay. So I'll leave now. Okay. If you don't mind. Not about it. All right.
All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Mr. Petit. Tomorrow. Oh, uh, Garanik, are you there? Where's Garanik? I just can't have like this. In there. Gabrielle, are you there? Yes, sir. What number you on? 2A. Okay. Do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. There's a lot of these that color pen in school. Hey, um, Gabrielle. Pardon? Do they allow you to use that color pen in school? Yes, sir. Wow, they shouldn't. See, what's going to do with that? Aquinas. Can you use this color pen in school? Yes, sir. No, oh, that's too bright. Blue or black? That's baby blue. So you need to find a blue or black pen for this class. Yes, sir. Ping pong, Kantanka. Frank Pong, what, 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 um, are you writing the notes or? I'm writing the notes right now. Okay. That's good. Um, Draxwell. How's it? How are you looking? Uh, trying to figure this, um, figure this question out before I ask you for help. So. Yeah. What is it? Um, I'm gonna do it. Menstruation is for a minute, real. Menstruation for a minute. Okay. No, I'm, I'm ready. I'll just uh, just a message away. Uh huh. Diamond. What number you on, Diamond? Hello, I'm sending it right now. All right. What time are you ready to go? I don't have your notes, Diamond. I send them out as well. All right. Daniel, where's Daniel? Daniel? <clears throat> Daniel and Bert. Say, I'm on never focus on. Well. Daniel? All right. Chris Rame, are you there? Chris Rame. Yes, sir. Oh, Mr. The Big Guy, want to send the notes from last class. Okay, send the notes on exercise, please. Okay. Hey, yo. Yes, sir. Number one. Three B. Three B. Send in the notes. Yes, sir. That's good. Aiden Johnson. Yes, sir. What number you on? Number two B. Number two B. You serious? There's two more pages before your third book for the class go. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I hope that you understand what's in that book. Because once you understand it, then you'll do good. Once you, once you understand it and you remember how to do that, you'll be good. What number you say you are? Again? 2B. 2B. Okay. Ashton, where's Ashton? Mr. Mr. Hey. Yes, yes, bro. I mean, yes. Um. Can I step away from my computer? You've been step away from my computer. I've been calling him for the longest, and I, and I can never hear from you. I even called him to me. Really? Yes, I did. I don't know. I, I, I have a little bit like. Oh, now you have a lie. That's, that's excuses. Please, please, if you're going to leave, let me know. 
Yes, sir. Seriously, I guess that way we make them do this. So, but now you on anyway. I'm on three, eight, nine. Okay. Caleb. Yes, what number you on? What number you on? 2B. Say it again? 2B. 2B. All right. And Aston Taylor? Aston Taylor? Hello. Um, I only have one set of notes for you. I don't have the other ones. <clears throat> Pardon? I can barely hear you. I said, my phone to die. But I write it down. I can send it right now. All right, your phone always dying. Charge the thing. That's why you have charges, Ashton. Can not be res irresponsible like that? Um. Angel, do you finish, right? Not as yet. I'm on 3-8. 3 okay. Antonia Bell, are you there? I hear for number two, B, give me a problem, because I don't know why I get in the desk mode. I don't know what I mix up. If I go on to three, I'm on three, B now. Okay. You should get a desk mode. Yeah, I get a remainder. I don't know how come, because that ain't making sense. If you divide 280. 280 by three, right? No, by four. How? Because it's a 280 of the kidney beans. And then they calculate the weight of the compounds of beans that we order to make a plan. No, but you have to you have to use kidney beans because it's a 280 of kidney beans. So it's gonna be 280 for the kidney. That's what. And then you can then when you then when you find the part, then you could do, you can do that. Okay. By, by three. I think there's a rough day. Okay. That's fine. Um sorry. We supposed to get a decimal number for number three? No. Okay, try doing this off. I'm supposed to get a decimal. You said after we use the um the kidney beans um ratio, then we go use the other ratio after we get the answer mm -hmm. from the kidney bean. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Angelina, what number you on? Oh, to be. To be. And then Amaya, when I'm wrong. It's still an example. Why not two? The second one, the last part. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Yes, go ahead. I can send my number one. Okay, you can. A lot of you are still working, that's interesting. But a lot of you are still working, so I'm not gonna answer them now. Once you finish, please send in the class notes for me. I can see what you're doing. Thank you, Moesha. Thank you, Taran. Wait, do you wanna see our exercises too? Yes, I want to see it. So that's, uh, once you finish them. Miss um, Zario? Yes, sir. Um, are you done writing the notes? Yes, sir. All right, send them for me, please. Okay. Um, Shay, what number you on? I send it right now. Um, okay. when I send it, you could check my number three, please. Sure. I think I get confused somewhere.
हम बशार नहीं यस सर 245 डिवाइडेड बाय 5 इज नॉट 45 शिफ्ट द डिवाइडर ओवर व्हाट शेयर Are you getting the? Are you getting the decimal? No. I don't know. I don't you know, know why? It's three hundred and seventy-eight divided by five, right? Oh, three hundred seventy-five. Oh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you, Saria. Time, and I'm still waiting. Caleb, when I'm on. Three A. A. Um, Aaron, what number you on? Three B. Three B. Yeah, I'm still waiting on you all. I'm taking a little while. I'll be able to make it tomorrow. Yeah? So when you finish with math class tomorrow, you can send it to my phone, and I can take down the notes and do what I got to do. Yeah, sure. No problem. Okay. Let's upload it, and I'll send it. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yes, supposed to send the health science workers yesterday. I never said I was going to send it yesterday. I said I will send it. Once you send to message me, I will send it. All right. Take one, are you finish? I'm sending my pictures now. So you're done? Yes, sir. Rakia, are you finished? Rakia Road, are you done? Harvin, are you finished? No, sir. I'm going to last. I won't be on number three right now. Okay. Thank you, Michaela Maki. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Shayo.
Oh, we should win on your own. I'm done. I sent it to you already. That's good. All right, since you're done, can you help me with number one? How are we going to do number one? Moisha, can you help me okay. with number one, eight? One moment, three moment. Yes, sir. Okay, so number one, we'll define the equal part. So we have to find the one, the one equal part, right? The, right? We have to find what is one equal part, right? There's more issue. I can't error no more. Some reason. All right, Shaya, help me with help me with number one, please. Um, okay. Okay, so for number one, it says, um, coffee makers, you know, we could skip over that fact. The ratio is four to five. So mm -hmm. for eight, you have to calculate the weight of the soybeans in a blend of 369 grams. Mm -hmm. For, um, to do that, you first have to find one equal part, which yeah. is 369 divided by four plus five, which is nine. Yes. And you got, well, I got 41 kilograms. Sorry. Kilograms? Oh, grams, sorry. Okay. 41 grams. Kilograms right there. Wait, Gram. Mr. Petit. Yes, sir? Is one of the answers supposed to have a remainder? No. No remainders. All right, so it's 41 grams for one equal part. So how are you going to find um, soybeans? To find the soybeans, you um, soybeans has four equal parts. So you do 41 times four, Very good. and you get 164 grams. 41 times four, and you get 164, right? Yes. That's correct. You want me to do B2 or? Antonia to do it. Okay. Put them up in. Oh, Moesha, you're back? Yeah, so my antenna and up dropping. Wow. I want you to do number two then. Okay. So for number two, you're defining oh, no, no, equal wait, part. Not, not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Oh, still okay. number one. Still number one. So. Um, Antonio, tell me with, with B. Hello? Yeah, tell me with B, um, number one, one B. One B. Um, yeah, one B. Okay, one B. Okay, one equal part, that's two. Say like that, right? Yeah, equals one. The one equal part, 245 kg over 5 mm -hmm. equals 49 kg. Kilograms. And then it's for so then to get the soy beans you times by 5 times 49 kilograms. Which will give you 245. Excellent. Very good. So you get the soybeans, we get um, four because it's four equal parts. It's going to be four multiplied by 49. It's going to give us what is four times 49? One ninety six. Did anyone else get that? No, Mr. Bati, you and just hear the whole thing. I like got it. Say it again. Yes, sir. I get no one ninety no six. You had I just say. You wouldn't say. I I I, I thought to say four times forty nine. 
Let's look at the let's look at the mess. But the answer is 196. But you see what I say, right? I thought you say four times 49. Mm -hmm. said, the yeah? yeah, I probably just could. What you said? I what say you? five. Just like do I say math? I was quite told you that. I thought you say 245 divided by five. I so say 245 divided by five. And I times five times. Oh, you use five. Oh. Yeah, you didn't hear me. No, I didn't hear that part. So I think I messed up number one, but I didn't send it to you, so I can't lie now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have number one. My person's got number one right. I got it right. I did. I did. I got it right. That's excellent. Lanaya, did you get number one right? No, I forgot to multiply. I'm very upset. Wait, you got okay. You got number one A, right? Uh, uh oh. Um, what was it? One sixty four. Yes, I did. Okay, that's good. But B, you got wrong. Yes. Okay. But you do number two. You asking me if I did it? Yeah. Yes, I also forgot to multiply at on on B. I don't know how come I okay. forgot to. So quickly multiply that before we get to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Now I want Moesha. Help me out with number one. Sorry, number two. A. Okay, so for number two, you have to find um the you have to find one equal part and you have to divide four ninety grams divided by three plus four. But uh, it'll be 490 grams divided by seven, which will give you 70. Very good. So one equal part is 70? Yeah, so. So what if this one equal part is 70, what is um, going to be for soy, for um, the garbanzo beans? For the um, garbanzo beans, mm -hmm. it will be three times 70, and it will give you 210. Three times All right, for number two, B, what you got? Moesha, you there? I think I, inter I, think I internet dropped again. So I'm going to ask, Michelle, no, can you do number 2B, please? Um, oh, okay, um, so, um, for to get on um, the one equal part, you have to, um, buy 280 kilograms by four, which will give you 70. Say again. For B, you have to divide 280 kilograms by four, which will give you 70. Very good. And what are we gonna do with that 70? We uh we um also with the 70, um we also use it for the amount of kidney beans, which will be um since it has it has four equal parts as well. Wait, kidney beans or garbanzo? No, garbanzo, my bad. Garbanzo, garbanzo. I can't say the word. 
So Cabanzo is gonna be what? Um, Cabanzo is gonna be um, it's gonna be three equal parts, which means 70, 70 times three. Very good. And what did you get? I got um, two hundred and ten. Four hundred and ten. Okay. Good. So, anyone else got um all right for number two? Okay. That's good. Erin, can you with number one, number three? I forgot to do number two, B. Okay. Someone's asked me a question. Someone. Yeah, I got two, two, two ten for two, two ten. Years. It is yeah. two ten, not four ten. It's two ten. Yeah, me too. For number one and for I mean for A and B. Yes, two ten. So the answer is two ten. Two ten. It's two ten. All right, um, you're in, help me with number three, please. Okay, it would be um, one equal part equals 728 grams divided by three plus five. So one equal part. Equals to? 728 um, grams. 28 grams yeah. Divided by three plus five. Divided by three plus five. What is three plus five? Eight. Is eight. All right. Mm -hmm. 728 grams divided by eight is 91 grams. 91? Yes, sir. What are we gonna do with this 91? Times it by three. All right, my apologies. You say we take the 91 and we multiply it by? Three. By three. Why do we multiply it by three? Hey, Aaron, why do we multiply Because that's how much it goes. Say it again. Because the um, ratio number for the block bands is three. That's how much equal parts, okay? We have a black beans, right? So it's three. So it's three times 91. Which would give you 271 grams. 71? Sure. Yes, sir. 271. I thought it was 273 grams. Yeah, I thought it was 273 grams. I, I got 273 grams too. Yeah, 273. Be careful. I got the same. Yeah. I got to see that. Very good. All right. Oh, wait. I also got the same thing. That's great, um, Zayden. Now we have Coffee Master. <clears throat> coffee Master has placed an order of 375 kilograms of white beans. Calculate the way the black beans to uh, to be ordered to make that blend.
All right, so Aaron, help me with number one. What it would be? Um, it would be one bar equals okay. three hundred and seventy-five divided by five. So one equals one. It's gonna be three seventy-five divided by five. Five. Yeah. Please excuse the noise in the background. So we have 375 divided by five. Which would give you 75 kilograms. So you Maybe give us, yeah. yeah, 75 kilograms. Yeah. We have a double, oh. so 75 kilograms. Now what are we gonna do with the 75 kilograms? Multiply by three. Multiply by three, very good. Why by three? Because that's the number equal parts. For what? For black bean. For black bean, very good. The black bean is going to be three multiplied by 75 grams. Yeah, three multiplied by 75. And what is three multiplied by 75? That's going to be what? 225 grams. Very good, 225 grams. Kilograms, rather. All right, anyone got all right? Anyone? Excuse me, Elizabeth, I have a question. Um, I did, I did. I got all right. I didn't. That's good. I, got Anyways, I, got all, I, only, I only got a 1A. That's the team. I mean, 3A white. Go ahead, Moisha. Um, for number two B, isn't it supposed to be two eighty divided by four? Wait, yeah. it is. It is two eighty divided by four. Oh, it's supposed to be. Okay, never mind. Where get two eighty from? I didn't get all right. We got two eighty from this. Oh my god, I did not see that. I thought she said two A. No, 280. Mr. Petit. Yes, Caleb. I get, um, only one I get wrong was 3B because I multiply 75 by 5 and not 3. Ah, okay. That's good. Anyone else got 3, 2 to 5, 2, two to 3? Two to three. Well, I got everything right except for um the Gabinzo part, Bye -bye. the second part in B. Okay. All right. That's good. But now you're just saying, got all right? I got, the only reason I get two out of three, I mean, three right is because I didn't finish it up to like, after B. I mean, after e, for the last one. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you got all right up to that point? Yes. Sir. Wow. Wow. I'm proud. I'm proud. Um. <laughs> Okay, moving right along. Let us go into English. If you haven't sent the class notes and assignments for math, please do so now. Again, please send the class notes and um, exercises for math. I only wrote the answers, not the questions. Is that okay? No, that's definitely not okay. No, sir. You don't do it in this class. Right, the questions and the answers. So I've been telling you. So you need to take a screenshot of this and write down the questions, please. I already did. <clears throat> okay. So to write down the questions then. Yeah. All right. So moving right along. Good night, Ms. See, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. You too, Moisha. Take care. Uh, we're moving on to English. Let's get a sensible design for English. Mr. Bati, let me see the Starbucks example one more time.
Okay, then. Okay. So last time we was in English, we did indefinite pronouns, all right? Um, tell me, um, Caleb, what is an indefinite pronoun? Indefinite pronoun is a person, place, or thing that is not specifically near. All right, thank you. Um, tell me, Shaya, give me an example of an indefinite pronoun. Um, both. Both? Um, Chris Raman, give me an example of an indefinite pronoun. Good again. Either, very good. Shalise, give me an example of an indefinite pronoun. Someone. Someone, very good. Sanae, give me an example of an indefinite pronoun. Mm -hmm. Anything. Anything. Very good. Malaya Smith, are you there? Where's Malaya? Yes, sir. Give me an example of an indefinite pronoun. Many. Many. Very good. So indefinite pronouns are pronouns that what it does is that, like the definition say, definition says it refers to a person, place, or thing that is not specifically named. So if we look at our examples, right, we find that it says everything is ready for the trip, right? Now, based just based on reading that alone, we don't know what they mean by everything in terms of ev the things that are specifically going to be packed for the trip are going to be ready or is not named, okay? So, and the thing is, right, when persons don't want you to know about their personal life, they usually use indefinite pronouns. That's how you catch persons. If persons like to use indefinite pronouns, that means that they do not want you to know, you know, certain specific things. So um, that's a good way. So if you have persons in your life who like to use, where are we, these words? Anyone, anything, everything. Um, all, more, none, some. They're indefinite. So they're not, it's not specifically um, speaking to a, a specific thing, like the specific thing that they're speaking to, rather, is not named. That's what I should say. So that's indefinite pronoun. Yes, Mr. Hola. Hey, I have a excuse, please. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Today we're going to be looking at interrogative pronouns. All right. Shall we be writing this down? Um, you should already have this. Oh, he wasn't there that day. No, sir. Okay, you can write it down. It's interesting. Yeah. Take a screenshot of it because I'm I'm both and move it right now. We have time for interrogative pronouns and um, demonstrative pronouns. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Go ahead. Um, my phone is about to die and my charge is in here. So if you see me log off, that's me my phone dead. Could you send me the recording? Yeah, sure. Okay. This one was about to I didn't just join. I was writing down those indefinite pronouns. Oh no, no, no. That um that 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 wasn't for the day. That was, <clears throat> that was oh from, that was from Monday. This is reviewing. I didn't know that first. I thought this was a new process. Yeah, you wasn't there on Monday. So that means you have to go. 
Do you say on Monday? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Well, take a screenshot of it and, and, and write it down. Okay. Let me get it for you. Uh, they haven't. Okay, good. All right, so the date is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Spanish day. Subject, of course, is the English language. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be learning about the particular topic. It's going to be, we're going to do. I want us to do interrogative pronouns. And um, demonstrative pronouns. So we're going to begin with a definition of interrogative pronouns. Now, I think that interrogative pronouns, the, the hint is in its name. Like we already know what an interrogative sentence is. It's a sentence that asks a question. Um, so very easily. Um, and if I ask you what it means to interrogate someone, what does it mean to interrogate someone? Like aggressively ask them questions. Yeah, right. interrogate means uh, to ask questions, right? So interrogative pronouns <clears throat> are gonna be pronouns that are used to begin a question. So interrogative pronoun is used to be to begin a question. All right, sorry about that. So I enter all the pronoun, it's a pronoun that we use to ask a question, okay? Now from this, I want you to put inside the chat um, a word that you would begin a sentence with, uh, what you think an interrogative pronoun would be. Here's an example of a, of a word that you would begin a sentence with, okay? So put inside the chat a word that you would begin a sentence with as I give you the examples. Is that a word? Yeah, a word that you began a sentence with. Thank you. 
So in the regular pronouns, someone said how, why, how, who, how, how, why, what, okay? All those are interrogative pronouns that y'all put inside the chat, very good. So the ones that I have here is what, I have which, oh no, no one use which, no one need, you don't use which, no one say they, no, it's a question um, word, ping pong, not they. Um, <clears throat> who? When? Sorry. Whom? Sorry. Whom? Who's? So, for example, Oh my, uh, also, um, what? We have what? We have which? Um, we have, do we have who? Who? Yeah, we have who. Yeah. Why? No, I don't think why. And? No. Because remember, it, replace, it replaces, uh, it replaces a noun. So I don't think those ones, those other ones are, are, are interrogative pronouns. Only ones I have mentioned, mentioned. What, which, who, whom, and who's. All right, so. Let's look at some examples. Mr. Bati. Hola. I think you made an error when you said interrogative means to ask. It's just to ask questions. You supposed to put to ask a question. No, no, no. I just mean I just meant interrogate. So it means to ask questions. So if I'm interrogating you, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah I'm not just gonna ask you one question, eh? Maybe I'm gonna ask you several. Because uh, so the way the way how you had the way how I was saying it. Like, uh -huh. It's not wrong, okay. Okay, so same. All right, so example, what did the doctor say? All right, what did the doctor say? <clears throat> Number two, which is the best treatment. Number three, who wants to be a doctor? So in each case, tell me what is the interrogative pronoun for number one? What's the interrogative pronoun for number one? What? 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 <clears throat> what is interrogative pronoun for number two? Which, which, which. What is interrogative pronoun for number three? Who? 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 All right. So those. What do you mean by interrogative? Um, pronouns. All right, so <clears throat> take a picture of this um, and send it with the exercises. I'm going to give you some exercises right now. Let me put it on the same screen. So, Mr. Petit, are you feeling well today? What happened? You only, you only put three and like, is everything okay? Like it's only, 
like a little bit of notes. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, I'm this one is not. This one is I'm, not intense as the other one. Yeah. Right. Right. Not, okay. Yeah. Just, just checking. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why we could do two of them on one on in one night. So in each case, underline the interrogative pronoun. So what does the podiatrist do? Number two, which of these doctors treats foot diseases number three who will be treated by a podiatrist number four who's is the most difficult training. And number five, from whom will you receive your podiatry, sorry, podiatry, podiatry training. So in each case, underline the interrogative pronoun for number for exercise number one. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna let you write it down and do it and then we're gonna answer them. What number you on, Jennifer? Number four. Um, that's good. Take one, anyway, number one. I'll say number four. Okay. Megan, what number are you on? Three. All right, that's good. Great, do we have to write down the sentence for exercises? Yeah, we All right, thank you. Definitely write it down. Caleb, what number you on? You, you have me second. You have me second. Number two. Yeah, so, say it again. Two. All right, that's good. Did you say, Mikhail? You have me second. Yes, yeah, that's my first. But like, when I told him that we have to write it down, you said, yeah, definitely write it down. Yes, definitely. All right, we will answer these. It's not deep. We can't take forever on this. All right, so anyone want to help you with number one? What is the interrogative pronoun for number one? What? What? Very good. Um, for number two, what is the interrogative pronoun? Which? Which? 
Which? Definitely. For number three, what is the interrog what is the interrogative pronoun? Who? 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 Number four, what is the interrogative pronoun? Those. Who's. 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 Ah, how about number five? What is the interrogative pronoun? Whom? 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 Okay. All right, take that down for me and send to me. How many persons got all right? Me. 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 All right, let's move on to the other phase, which is take it again, take a picture of it and send to me via WhatsApp. Okay, so let's look at. He's in this body. Hola. My mic is on you. Um, I unmute. I muted. It was on you, right? Yeah, yeah, it was on you. I didn't even know it was on you. Sorry. That's fine. Again, take a picture of, the, of your notes and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need to see them. All right, let's move on to the next set of. Um, oh, take a picture of that. We should be finished with that. Okay, so when I think about, that, that, about demonstrated pronouns, I think about um, it being, in some sense, the opposite of indefinite pronouns. So next one is demonstrative pronouns. So for demonstrative pronouns, the definition is following. A demonstrative pronoun points out a specific person, place, or thing. These are, my bad, there are two types. My bad, there are two singular and plural. Demonstrative pronouns. So this one is the singular one.
And the singular demonstrative pronouns is this. And this and that. And we have the plural demonstrative pronoun. And it's going to be, they want to guess. <clears throat> Those, those, and these, those and these, right? and these, yes, These are demonstrative pronouns. Mm -hmm. So now, just a bit, some notes on that. Someone mic is on. It's Karenik. <clears throat> so a demonstrator for now. Generally, affairs at the beginning. Of a sentence. With its antecedent. Appearing later in the same sentence. <clears throat> However, sometimes the demonstrative pronoun, sometimes the demonstrative pronoun. will be placed after its antecedent. So let me um, show you the different cases. One where the <clears throat> demonstrated pronoun appears before the antecedent, and the other where the demonstrated pronoun appears after the antecedent. So before, we have the sentence that. Now that is a singular or um, plural and um, demonstrative pronoun. Singular. 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 
that has always <clears throat> been my favorite subject. Now, hey, what is the demonstrator for now? That's going to be. That. That. Yeah. Now, what is the antecedent? So remember what we said about antecedent? That's going to be now. That's going to be the noun that the uh, pronoun represents. So what is the word that the pronoun favorite represents? Subject? Favorite subject. Subject. Oh, favorite subject. 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 All right. So the antecedent, sorry, the antecedent is, is subject. But the demonstrator pronoun is that. So this is a case where the antecedent comes. Uh, this, this is the case where the pronoun, that the demonstrator pronoun comes before the antecedent. We could have a case, so this is the demonstrator pronoun. So before, so that is the demonstrator pronoun and the subject is the antecedent. Now the, <clears throat> now the demonstrator pronoun could come after the, after the antecedent. So we can say, we met and, okay, we met a nurse. Well, let's use EMT, we met an EMT. Everyone knows it was an AMT, right? And the doctor. <laughs> Um, these were the most interesting guests. All right, so from this, tell me um, what is the demonstrator pronoun? <clears throat> these. These. Very good. These is the demonstrator pronoun. What is the antecedent? Yes. No, not guess. No. Remember. In this case, the antecedent comes comes after. Sorry, in this case, the demonstrated pronoun come after the antecedent. So that means the antecedent must be in the first sentence. So would it be EMT and doctor? Yeah. EMT and doctor. Very good, Lenore. So this is going to be the. Uh, be the antecedent. Mm -hmm. 
This is the demonstrator for now. All right, I mean, are you ready to move? You can move. You can move. <clears throat> Good, you already have this written now. All right. So. All right, so. <clears throat> Our exercise. Recognizing. Pronouns. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can we screenshot this and print it out and write the answer? Do you have a Do you have a printer? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, we can. <clears throat> but take a screenshot of your work and send it to me. Either way. Um. <clears throat> identify. Five demonstrator pronouns. In the following paragraphs. Oh. <clears throat> So the paragraph says, remember we indent the paragraph. It says science and math. Write this down, please. Are two of my favorite subjects. And so from this, from this um paragraph, you're gonna underline. I should say underline it. Underline. So when you see a personal, when you see a demonstrator pronoun, underline it, please. Science and art are my two favorite subjects. These are important studies for anyone planning a career in medicine. I hope to become a doctor specializing in sports medicine. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. When? We have to write this paragraph. <clears throat> yes, like I said, write a paragraph on this. And this is what the Carmen come back for y'all who say that he was not feeling well aided by too much stuff. I know. I I thought oh, I thought I thought something happened, but obviously. 
he took some medicine and it's back 100,000 percent you know this is not this is not law law all medical students no matter what specialty but that's not right they plan to enter must do well in all the sciences as well as the math That is the reason I work hard to get good grades. Sorry to cut you off, right? Why not ask one question? Uh huh. You writing all this down? Yes, uh, Mikhail. It's not all. It's not all. It's just this. <clears throat> understand the material. All right, so do well in school. <laughs> to get into a good pre-med program and eventually become <laughs> Dr. Rule. These are my goals. You may think this is too early to plan for college. Some students don't start thinking about their goals. until high school. I know there are many careers open to me. I can always <clears throat> change my mind. You make this up on your mind or you get this on the PJC paper? Uh, I definitely am making this up on my mind. I that good. Um, I have a text that I'm looking at. But now, oh, however, okay. um, sports medicine is what I hope. Will be my career. That would be a dream. Finish it for me. I said that would be a dream. What? That anybody oh, can true. imagine. No, that's a lot. Come true. Come true. Dream come true. Oh. Good, good. Write this down. Identify. There are five. Just five demonstrative pronouns. Underline them, please. And then send this along with your notes to me via WhatsApp. Again, I'm going to repeat the instructions because some people just play forget. You're going to write this down and you're going to underline the five demonstrative pronouns that are found in these two paragraphs. And then 
you can take a picture of your notes and also this and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right. It's a very nice um, paragraph, two paragraphs. Um, um, pardon me, Mr. Petit. Yes, sir. Why does it say you may think? Yeah, my, you may think. <laughs> Where are we? At the start of the second paragraph. You may think. Thank you. Thank you. You may think. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's read it. Science and math are two of my favorite subjects. These are important studies for anyone planning a career in medicine. I hope to become a doctor specializing in sports medicine. All medical students, no matter what specialty they plan to enter, must do well in all the sciences, as well as math. That is the reason why I work. That is the reason I work hard to get good grades and understand the material. To do well in school, to get good grades in, to get to do well in school, to get in a good pre-med program and eventually become Dr. Rowe, these are my goals. You may think that is that is too early to plan for college. Some students don't start thinking about their goals until high school. I know there are many careers open to me. I can always change my mind. For now, however, sports medicine is what I hope to be, is what I hope will be my career. That would be a dream come true. Again, write this down and underline the Demonstrator for now. All right, Malay, you finish write it down. Malay. Yeah. Take one, you finish writing. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. You identify all five? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Um, how about you, Yolanda? You finish all five? I'm on the last sentence. Okay, that's good. But to be. All right, so let's begin to answer it now. What is the first demonstrator pronoun that we see? The first one. These. 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 Very good. These. All right. <clears throat> After these, what's the next one? Yeah. Say it again. That. 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 Right here. That was the second one. That. After that, what else we have? These, these. These. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that. This. This. After that, we have what? That. Say it again. That. 
That, that would be a dream. So it's only five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right. <clears throat> it's 846. All right. So once you send in your notes, you could leave. Have a wonderful night. See you on tomorrow, Godspell. That is tomorrow at nine o'clock. Sorry, at six o'clock. Again, send in your notes for send in your class notes for English and math and also your exercises for both subjects. And again, I'll see you on tomorrow at 6 p.m. God spell. Have a wonderful evening. Take care, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.